In this video, I'm going to share with you tips to help your church's website see new visitors come to your church within the next year. That was the goal for redesigning the Cornerstone Church website. We've been working with Cornerstone Church for many years, uh, since 2016. In that time, we basically have designed a website, but then recreated a couple versions of that website. And uh, this is the latest version. We recommend creating a new website or redesigning your website every two to three years or so, uh, just to keep it relevant, keep the design fresh and clean. And uh, so as people come to the church website, they understand and see that you are a relevant church. So the first tip is that you want to make sure you design with your audience in mind. Have a target audience and then design with them. So uh, the target audience for a good church website is a first time visitor. So make sure you understand your first time visitor and what their needs are. What are some of the problems that they have? What are their struggles that they have? Most first time visitors struggle finding the basic information, your service times and those type of things. So make sure they understand they're on the right website. They understand what the value is that your church provides for them and their family. Understand a lot of these things. Design with them in mind. Clean, simple design is going to help you uh, create something, an online experience that they really love and that they really feel that they are welcome to your church. So tip number two, keep it simple and clean. The design of the website should be very easy to navigate. Tip number three, include a tagline. Include a tagline at the, the top of the homepage. Okay, a tagline is something that helps your audience understands the, uh, understand the benefits of your church. So help them understand very quickly within just about three, four, five seconds of looking at the website why they should care about your church. Like what is it going to do for them? Again, this is from a marketing perspective. So we need to answer that question, why should I care? And a great tagline with a great image at the very top of the home page is going to help people understand the benefits of your church to where they keep going on their website experience. Make sure your service time and location is easy to find on the home page of your website. This is a very common mistake that we see people make. Uh, if you've ever tried to go to a new church, then you understand that it's frustrating if you can't find their address or the service time on their website. And it needs to be on the home page. It needs to be very easy to, to find. So on, on the Cornerstone Church website, we made sure that that's one of the first things you come across. So you scroll down just a little ways, and then you'll find the service time. They have multiple service times, both on Sunday, and they wanted to include their Wednesday service time as well. And then we have their address, and even put in there a little link to get like a Google map uh, directions to, to the church. We work with Cornerstone Church to develop their new branding, their logo, their brand strategy, website, and graphics. And so once we created that pro that entire system for them, that entire new brand for them, we stayed with them. And we've been with them si since 2016. So we love to develop relationships with our clients, help you get that brand off the ground. But once we do that, we, we're we there to help you and support you as you continue to build this brand. So Cornerstone, they were looking for a person to step into that role of communications and what they ended up doing was really getting our team to step into that role and help them to communicate and bring strategy to the table and then design as well for all their different events that they have going on. The result is that they have seen an increase in attendance. They've seen people giving at a higher level as they engage with the church. Uh, new people are coming in and then engaging. Uh, they've seen more people getting into their starting point class and joining the church, more people going on missions trips or coming out to their events like the men's conference or the women's conference. Uh, we're just able to partner with them and work with them to bring ideas, fresh ideas uh, from outside their circle. And it's something that we love to do. And uh, with Cornerstone Church, we've enjoyed working with them. And I just want to share with you a little bit about their website. But beyond that, we do serve them holistically uh, to help them promote all different types of events throughout the year. Make sure your church logo is prominently displayed on the upper left of the website. 
So when people come to your website, they need to know they're in the right place. They might find uh, your church information on a mailer or maybe an ad on, uh, maybe it's Facebook or a Google ad that you might've run. Uh, what, whatever way they found your church website, they need to know that it is your church's website. And one of the quickest ways to do that is to have the church logo on the website, on the upper left-hand side. Intuitively, that's what people know. The logo's on the upper left, and then the uh, navigation is in the upper right. And from there, they can kind of figure out the rest of the website. On a mobile, on a, on a cell phone, that logo being the upper left will be at the very top of the mobile device. And then you would scroll down from there. And in fact, one of the things we do with some of these websites is we make that menu, that top navigation menu sticky so that as you scroll down on the page, that menu stays in place. That way the logo is always there and then you can also navigate very easily as you scroll down on the page. Use high quality photos on the website. We want photos of smiling faces. We want people to see that the church culture is something that is fun and, ex and exciting for the family show as many different people or types of people as you can. We want your audience, when they see the website, we want them to see themselves coming to your church. Uh, that's what's gonna help bring down the walls to where they give you a shot and come for their first visit. Include upcoming event information to help people to engage with your church and also help them understand the details for whatever is coming up next within your church. So we want to make sure that new guests that are coming to your church understand the next big thing. Uh, we don't want to put too many things on the website as far as like events uh, that are coming up. We don't want the Tuesday night usher meeting to be on the website. We want the big events that, that affects the majority of the church or the community. So post that on the website. Uh, with Cornerstone Church, we wanted to post that on the homepage because they do big events really well. So uh, some churches, we have an events page, and on the events page, that's where we post the different events that are going on within the church or coming up within the church. We do both for Cornerstone Church. Uh, Cornerstone's experiencing great growth within the last several years that we, we've been working with them. One of the main things is that we promote their big events. Again, they do big events really well uh, because the website really is the central hub for all your marketing. And uh, the homepage is one of the places that we, we it's prime real estate. And so we wanted to make sure that we, we uh, reserve some spot on there for their big events. We also do landing pages. Uh, so if I type in uh, Easter, you'll see a landing page we created for their Easter services. And this is basically gives all the information all in one place, has the branding for the event. Uh, it's completely branded for that event, but it has uh, just the information that, they, that people need for that particular event. Now they can navigate the rest of the website if, if they want to, but if you're running a Facebook ad and somebody clicks on Easter, you just want them to find all the information they need for Easter because that's what they're looking for. Now on the bottom part of this landing page, we do have additional information about kids ministry and other things we offer at the church and even a Q and A about what the church experience looks like. So that's really helpful for people to come to the church, come to that event and understand what it looks like in advance to come to the event. That really brings down the walls so that they decide ultimately to come and check you out for that event. We want to make sure the website is mobile friendly. So make sure that it looks amazing on a cell phone. That's the primary place that people come to check out your website. So you want to make sure that the, the website is scalable. That means that whatever device it's on, the website is dynamic to resize itself. And then you need to design with a certain mindset. Uh, that mindset needs to lean more towards mobile so that it looks amazing on mobile. And so there's certain things that you do when you design the website that makes sure that it looks great on mobile and also on a desktop. Uh, again, there's different techniques. So your designer needs to make sure that they uh, understand those techniques and design in that, in that fashion. Now for us, we love working with churches and making sure that uh, we help the churches navigate the, some of these, these things. And our system that we use for building our website is dynamic. That way it's going to look amazing on all devices. We can even divide, design for specific devices like a, a cell phone versus a website or a, like a full desktop or even a tablet. So it's, a, it's amazing what we can do and we love doing that. If you need help, re make sure you reach out to us. But at the very least, make sure your designer is using a great system that looks 
uh, good on mobile device first, primarily, and then also looks good on a desktop. Make sure the website includes, includes all the ways that people can give to your church. So giving is something that is very, very important to a nonprofit like, like your church is. So we want to make sure that all the different methods that people have are on display on the website so that people can click to get to it or at least uh, have the information to get to it. Like maybe if they wanted to mail in a check, the, the address needs to be there so that people can mail in a check. Uh, we like to do this by having a give page on the website and on there we list out every way that your church has where people can give. So some churches do text to give or they might do Venmo or Cash App as options. Uh, some churches do stock, you can give stock. Um, so whatever you have available, create a landing page, a give page on your website so that people can find that information very quickly and easily. Make sure that social media channels are easy to get to on the website. We like to put that in the footer of the website so people can find your Facebook page or maybe your Instagram or your YouTube channel. Uh, let's make sure that all those things are very prominent on the website. Uh, the footer is basically on every single page of your website. So if you put that, uh, those links to those social media channels uh, in the footer, then it'll be on every page. Now we don't want people to like go off of our website. So I don't like putting the uh, social media channels too, too prominently on the website because we want to keep them on the website. That's your own real estate as a church, your own digital real estate. So we want them to explore the website and click through the website. But we also do want them to check out your other social media channels and uh, the putting, them in, putting them in the footer is great. Using icons is, is really good as well so that people can, they recognize that icon, they see it's Instagram, they click on it and um, it just makes it easier for people to recognize. So keep your content up to date on the website. Make sure that there aren't outdated events or information on the website. Go through it every week, make those updates. It's nice to have a rhythm where you're constantly updating the website and the information on the website. So old events need to be taken down and new events need to be put up in place. In fact, if you are able to do a blog, that's even better. Uh, a blog could be the sermon with just notes, uh, but that keeps a website fresh. So when people come to the website, there's something fresh that they can check out. Uh, it also helps Google and the search engines see that the website is fresh and constantly updated. So that'll rank you higher, but make sure all outdated information is off the website and you're always updating with new information. Make sure your website is being tested on a regular basis and you're just checking to make sure everything is working. Click the buttons, click through it, uh, maybe once a month or so, just click through, make sure everything's good. Um, if you are hosting it on a server, make sure your server is uh, good and yeah, has the latest version of your software. If you're using something like WordPress, WordPress releases new uh, versions all the time. So make sure you're using the latest version of the software uh, that your website is built on. I any plugins, any of that stuff, make sure you're good. So we, uh, we like using WordPress for our websites. And uh, with that, we have a maintenance package where we go through and just do all those updates for the church um, on a regular basis. Every month we're going through, making sure everything's up to date. The reason is that they put out security updates. So people are always trying to hack the website or robots are trying to uh, hack the website. So you need to make sure you have the latest version of security updates in there. Also the latest features in there so that your website doesn't break at some point, but it's gonna continue to function. So again, we do this automatically as part of our maintenance package. Uh, but if you're building a website on your own, make sure that your uh, website is constantly being updated and uh, it, it's, that way it, it's functioning for a long time and you just have peace of mind that it's gonna work for you. This is a bonus tip. Make sure you get your website done right the first time. Uh, this is the primary place that people come to check out your church and decide if they're gonna come or not. So make sure you get this right. If there's one area you do not want to be skimpy on, it's the website. Have a professional go through and design your website. Put the budget towards it that it's gonna cost to get it done right. Uh, it's gonna be several thousand dollars if you wanna make sure you get this is done right. So set that money aside, raise that money, whatever you have to do, and make sure you get a great website for your church. Um, have it professionally designed so with somebody that knows what 
what what they're doing, uh, both to make sure it displays properly, but also from a marketing perspective, you just want to make sure that it it really is designed to engage with new people that are checking out your church for the first time and trying to make that decision if they're going to come or not. Now, we would love to help you with this. Uh, if you want to reach out to Church Brand Guide, we love building websites for churches, and we will guide you through the process. Uh, we create all the content, all the information, and you just kind of give us your insights and any adjustments that we need to make. We make it super easy for you. If you would like for us to take a look at your church's website project, make sure you book a call with us. That way we can get on a, uh, a phone call and talk through what you need and then put together something, a package that might work well for you. So reach out to us. Make sure you get the website done right. We would love to be a part of that. But if you, even if you don't reach out to us, make sure you get somebody that knows what they're doing. Uh, don't try to do this on your own. Uh, if, you're a, if you're a pastor out there, if you're a volunteer and you really don't know how, how to do this, it'll take you a lot of time, uh, time that you could spend ministering to people and doing what you're really good at doing. Uh, so make sure, you know, just reach out to somebody, at least get an idea of what the cost and the time frame would be and, and see what, what you can do to make that happen. Hey, thanks for joining me on this video. Hopefully it's helpful to you to help you get that website that serves as a front door for your church so that new people are coming to this, your church in the next year. We want to help you see more people come to your church and because of that, more lives transformed by the gospel. Thanks for joining me on this video and we'll see you in the next one.